Hey everybody, if this video found you today, you were meant to see it. If this video found you some type of way, you were meant to see it. Inside this video, I'm going to unpack three specific things that I want to share with you in this moment. The first thing is going to be some encouragement. The second thing is going to be a warning. And then the third part of this video is I'm going to share a specific strategy for you of what to do next if this video did find you on today. Now, do me a favor. If you're here right now, help me get this video in front of the right people by clicking the like button. It's going to tell YouTube that this video needs to find more people who can relate with this video right now. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and jump into what I believe the Lord is showing me uh, to share with you on today specifically so that you can be encouraged and know what to do next for yourself. Okay. So the first part of this video, as I mentioned, is going to be encouragement and what I believe God is saying to all of us right now in this hour that it is time to come out of hiding it is time to come out of hiding if this video found you you are probably a person right now that god has already promised to do something amazing to do something extraordinary in your life and it's almost as if you are a person who is humble of heart and you have settled for the crumbs. You have settled for the scraps. Um, many of you right now, you have what, what we would call a people pleasing tendency where you have put others feelings, you've put their opinions, their um, wants and desires before your own. And now it is time to come out of hiding. You're getting ready to do something or maybe have already found yourself in the middle of doing something that some people are mocking you for or they will mock you for. You are getting ready to do something that is against the grain. What God has designed you for is going to be counterintuitive. It's going to be countercultural. It's going to against, go against the norms of society. And that's why you for a long time in your life, you've had this possible unsettling um, in your spirit where you didn't always fit in with certain groups of people, where you didn't always fit in and get the inside jokes in certain communities, and you didn't always felt like you belong. But I'm telling you, you belong right here. It is getting ready to be your season. It is getting ready to be your time where God is getting ready to do an unveiling of your life. He is getting ready to bring you into the forefront. Your uh, voice is getting ready to be heard because God has a specific plan and a specific purpose in your life that he's getting ready to take the, the things that have transpired in your life, the things that have gone on in your life, the things that were unsettled, that, that were left unchecked, that were almost as if uh, you, 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 you didn't get any um, support in this area, like you, you felt like you were left alone or that your voice was not heard in a particular area. And God is getting ready to, 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 to bring a settling to that area. He's getting ready to bring even more comfort into that area. In some of you, uh, you were uh, taken advantage of, you were violated, you were, were, there were things that were wrong against you that have happened in your life. And you felt as almost as if that there was no justice and that there was no judgment or correction in this particular area. But I see the Lord even right now bringing justice. I see the Lord right now even balancing the scale and, and weighing on this matter. And it's, it's going to, to, to begin to unfold in your life if it has not already started to unfold. And so I want to give you some warnings as God is getting ready to release these things and, and is already releasing these things in your life. There are going to be some types of attacks. There's three specific attacks that I saw in my dreams that the Lord began to unpack in front of me. And the first type of attack or the first thing that you need to begin to watch out for specifically 
are what are called idols. You need to be very mindful of the things that you are prioritizing above what your relationship with God is like right now. So if there are people, if there are places, if there are things that you are connected to or addicted to that cause you to draw back and to pull away from the things of God, or if there are things in your life that when something is wrong, when you're going through a situation, if there are things that you turn to before you turn to God, then those things are considered idols. You've put too much weight. You've put too much trust. You've put too much confidence in those things. And God is getting ready to knock those things off their pedestal. And so one thing that you may start to see happening in some of your relationships, you may start to see the there's a shift between how you have a relationship with certain people. Some people may be beginning moved out of your life. You may see God having events where these people are being strategically uh, separated from you. You might find yourself in a, in, a, in a separation from things that you have found comfort in and you've found joy in and you found contentment in in the past because God is getting ready to do something new in your life. He's getting ready to use the thing that he's given you, the, the gifts, the talents, the, 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 the curiosities that you have that he's placed on the, the, the inside of you at the depths of your soul. And this is why you feel this longing that you know that you're supposed to be doing something great. God is getting ready to use those things. Now, what I also saw even on last night is that as you are beginning to trust God and to come out of this place of hiding, one of the first things I saw was a major attack where someone close to you, uh, someone who you would kind of not expect is getting ready to potentially send sabotage your way. They're either going to use their words or they're going to use information that they know about you to use it against you. I'll give you an example. So let's just say that you are struggling with a particular uh, place of, of, of in your life or struggling with a specific vice or sp struggling with a specific set of sins. Um, and you have a certain appetite towards these things that God is trying to cleanse and God is cleansing and removing from your life. But because these people know so much about you, they are going to try to interject or to throw these things into the mix to cause you to slip up. And so you must be on alert that if you are moving forward to do this thing that God is placing uh, in front of you to begin to do, then you must watch out for these two types of attacks. And the third type of attack is attack that can be avoided. It's an attack of neglect. What I saw last night in my dream was um, I was taken to this like Airbnb unit and I was in this particular place and there was a gentleman who um, ended up coming back to the Airbnb because they, they had just left and going through some of my stuff and, and even stealing some of my stuff because the owner had not changed the the lock code or the, the the password to get into the Airbnb. I'm sure some of you guys can relate with going to an Airbnb, right? And so because of the owner's neglect to not change the password, this this thief, uh, this person was able to easily infiltrate and to begin to take my stuff. Now, in the dream, I was able to catch the thief. I was able to make this thief return what was stolen. And the word of God tells us when we catch a thief, some of you guys right now are getting ready to see an exponential growth and blessing because when we catch a thief what has to be returned is seven times the amount that's stolen and so right now um this is a a warning to watch out for this but also this is a promise some of you have have had your joy stolen some of you have had your uh your your dreams stolen some of you have had uh your vision stolen some of you have had your encouragement stolen some of you guys have had uh, money stolen. You've had uh, your kids taken away. Maybe you've lost cars. You've lost homes. You've lost, uh, again, a, a, a total number of different things that you may have lost um, while you were on this journey where God was 
testing you, where God was trying you to, to, to get you to this place where you would have enough boldness and you would have enough conviction, you would have enough trust in him to do the assignment that he's calling to do, even if it seems unpopular, even if it seems like this is scary, even if it seems like this is not what uh, you were designed to do. If, if God is calling you to it, he will get you through it, okay? Now, what I wanna touch on really quick, because I know we've been here for a minute, but I want to give you five specific things five specific strategies of what to do now if this video is resonating with you so far. And do me a quick favor. If you're watching this video and you've gotten here, I want you to write the word strategy um, in the comments so that I know that you got to the, to the best part, which is what to do next, okay? And so the first thing that we must do is we must submit. We must submit to what God's plan and what God's purpose is for our life. The Lord had me reading and going through uh, uh, Jeremiah uh, 20 uh, this morning, and it, it made so much sense why he had me in that particular text as it concerns this, because in Jeremiah 20 and 7, the, the subheading for this particular passage is Jeremiah's unpopular ministry. Jeremiah's unpopular ministry. Many of the things that we are getting ready to do or what God has called you to do are going to go against what people think that you should be doing, what, what a person from your ethnic background or from your socioeconomic status or from your geographical location, what you're capable of doing. And so you're going to come against the cultural things of society. You're going to come against the things that have been already established. And God is going to be using you to, to break the traditional protocols that man has put in place. And God is getting ready to reign in your life. And so, so many of, of, of Jeremiah's acquaintances, people that he grew up with, people that he knew, people uh, that were connected to him in some type of way were, were mocking him and they were, they were ridiculing him for doing what God has called him to do. But in that passage, it lets us know that Jeremiah said it was almost like fire was shut up in his bones, that, that he could not hold on to what God was giving to him to say. And so many of you right now, this is that time for you to speak up it is that time for you to come forward, to come into the light and to step into the marvelous light. So, so, so we must surrender. We must submit to God's plan. We didn't choose this plan for ourselves. God chose it for us and we must submit to that. Now, the second thing, once we have already submitted is another S and we are going to do some type of supplication. We're going to pray. We're going to humbly humble our hearts because remember, you are already a humble person. That's why this video landed on your feet is because you are a person who has a humble heart. And that's the same posture that we must take to God continuously. We must submit to him in prayer. We must lay out exactly what it is that we want. And here's the piece that we must take into consideration when we're given our supplication. Ask God for what you really want. Ask God for what you're really believing for. A lot of times we only ask God for what we need instead of asking God for what we truly want. A lot of times our needs can be met by ourselves. We can, can supply our own needs and we learn to only trust God for our needs and not for the things that we truly want. And so this is the time to ask big. This is the time to believe God for big things because this will show if you did it for yourself or if God did it for you is if you dream about something so big that it takes God's intervention to make sure that it comes to pass. Okay, and the third thing that we must do, I'm gonna get through these pretty quickly, is we must sacrifice. There's going to be work. There's going to be um, some, something that we must diligently do. Um, most of that doing is giving up our old self, giving up the things that made us comfortable, the things of, of the past, the people pleasing, the, the idol worship, putting things on a pedestal above God, not spending time with him. Uh, we must put away um, our laziness. We must put away our bad stewardship. Uh, because uh, the fourth principle here is sowing and reaping. Um, and that is once we have sacrificed the things that are holding us back, we have given up these things and we become another person. We must begin to sow into what we want to grow into. We must sow into what it is that God is expecting for us. If we know that 
um, we are going to be change agents in this world, then we must start to sow change. We must start to do things differently if we're expecting to see a different result. And the last piece of advice and the last part of the strategy before I get out of your uh, guys way is stewardship. We must be a good steward of the thing that God has given us. If God is calling you to a specific area, I see right now God is calling some of you guys to business. God is calling some of you guys to government. God is calling you guys to entertainment, media and arts. Um, God is calling some of you guys to real estate. Um, I see God calling to some of you guys to political sector. And again, whatever sector or whatever industry, whatever field God is calling you to do and whatever the thing is, we must steward over it well. If God is releasing finances, if God is releasing uh, relationships and marriages and, and partners and destiny helpers, we must steward those things well. We must tr treat them as true gifts because they are gifts from God. And these gifts are going to help us with the plan so that we can truly trust in him with everything that we have. And so if this video found you, uh, get ready to see your world begin to turn upside down. I'm going to speak into your life and prophesy that if you are a faithful person who has accepted Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior, and you're watching this video, and you are taking heed to these things that I've laid out here, and you actually implement the strategy that I've just laid out here in the next 30 days, in the next 30 days, October 17th, you will wake up and you will see your life is completely different than it is from right now. And I want you guys to come back on that date. I want you guys to, 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 to describe to me how different your life is. Describe to me what has changed in your life because I'm believing God for radical things. And so I'm going to challenge you to believe God for radical things. And so if this video resonated with you, do me a favor, like this video, consider sharing it with someone else, consider subscribing to the channel. And again, if you know this was a word for word message for you, if you know this word was speaking to you inside the links in the description, of this this video are going to be a way that you can connect with this ministry where you can sow into this word, where you can attach your faith to what this word says about you today. And I can't wait to see where you are a month from now. As we hit the 17th minute of this video, October 17th, you guys are going to wake up and again, see so many different things have transpired, have broken out in your life because you watched this video and you followed the instructions and you obeyed them. Not because they came from me, but because they came from the Lord. And so I prophesy that every word of this video becomes true in your life, that you see the tangible fruit 30 days from now, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy this into your life. Amen and amen. God bless you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.